Ignore for the fact that there's like so many noises out here. I really did pick the perfect time to actually record this. Hey guys, the Fresh Production here. Back on another video today is Lost Ones, and today is case we'll be taking a look at the Thinkway Toys Toy Story Playtime Woody. Let's review it. Now, if you were a kid from the late 2000s and had any Toy Story toys, it was going to be bound to be that it was going to be one of these toys that you were going to have the most, actually. Now, obviously, being said, I gotta get the backstory to what am I talking about, late 2000s. Let's try to at least piece together what I imagine happened. In 2009, Think Great Toys, a company known already for making toys to toys from the first film back in 1995, decided to do a rebrand of these toys, making them more accurate to the film that it was based off of. At first, it was kind of weird. I mean, like, why would they release, like, a Woody? And then have another line called Toys That Collection, which is supposedly even more accurate interpretation. That just did not make sense at all. Some people claimed it was prior for the whole entire release a year later, which was for Toy Story 3, which honestly, I think it is. And some people thought it was just a way for them just to sh uh, for people just to shut up about how these toys aren't accurate. I um, mean, you really can't go wrong with thinking this stuff. So, yeah. So on to a bit of background to why these toys look like they uh, have this type of scenario, there's that. Yeah. Now one of the most fascinating things I find about for this whole entire particular Woody is that I think I used it like three entire times. Don't believe me? Here's a whole entire list. Right here. They used it for the stock variant Woody, which I think was I think the cheap Woody. I mean, it didn't have any features, just a stock generic. Did they let it use them on a movie accurate basis, so, nah. They then used it for a whole entire this Woody, which was Playtime, and the last one they used was Soft and Huggable. No, not the Toy Story 4 brand. It was exactly like this, except without the pull string. It was just, it was printed on, I guess. Everything else is, like, intact. It just, he didn't have a voice box in there. The reason I noticed, because looking back at old Toy Story vids, and I do remember a series, and another, it was like a video where Buzz stole what he's had, and then there was another one where it was like cooking with what I believe. It was that something hard with Woody that it was exactly like that. It was just that the pull string was just stitched on. It wasn't like, you know, had a voice box in there. That's the one reason for the fact that there was a something hard with Ryan. Also, due to the fact that that thing goes like $400. What the heck? So I think that's enough chit chat. Let's actually move on to the doll itself. Not to say about them. I mean, I guess we'll start with the head itself. It kind of looks weird. Honestly, because said this whole entire brown trim isn't how the toy came with. It was actually done by me. And the air holes, I mean, that's how it was. And the whole entire where's of us thinking the sides being bent up. Yeah, that's also being cased in a box. Yeah, you gotta remember that, honestly. It just a sucks generic Woody hat, except that it feels like the plastic on here. Like, it's a lot more flexible, and like, you can barely fit it on its head for the majority of time. Oh, hell, when I played it back in the day, I used a collection brand because I feel like that was like a lot more better. I mean, it's not even the right color for Christ's sakes. I don't know that they didn't mess that up. Now, as being said, this is a stock generic Woody, which means he doesn't have any of the line details from the collection brand, so that's that. He has his, exactly the same face. I think mine is just a bit skinnier. I don't know why. It just looks like it to me, honestly. He's got, like, scratches, honestly. He's got the bandana. Which doesn't look like this, honestly. The chest. It's still got the buttons, which are really close and are really fat. The vest. Looks pretty good. The badge itself. It's also alright. Like, it ain't thinking near anything as good as a collection of the UK Mattel one. Here's the pull string. It's the big as our hex can be. This whole entire little rep, that's how it's supposed to come as. Back in the day, I like Love It Till I Say 2, which I still do. No, as you being said, I wanted it to have the detail of what he's always had in, like, that bandaged, I mean, the stinking stitched up arm. And so, doing so, I nearly had every single Woody that I had with that bandaged effect. I know, I was a weird as a kid. Don't blame me. The belt, exactly the same from the no the normal variant and the playtime, still can't move. 
But it does have the accurate yellow to it. The jeans, I think the real denim, even though I got this like late on before they decided to stop doing them. I do have pretty comparisons to at least have it, so. Yeah, I think these are like semi type of jeans. I mean, on camera, they look kind of dark like a Toy Story 3 approach, but in person, they're like really light actually. So there. The boots, they're different. For some reason, they got this Wizard of a Stumpy type of look, which is a kind of a neat reference to one of the Woodies from back in the day. That and so they did don't choke, and obviously I wrote any on the bottom of the boot. Yeah. And there's that. And really, that's about it, honestly. I feel as though he's exactly the same as any other Woody from back in the day, just with some new features. Let's do it. Now, obviously, like I said, I think that the reason why they released this Woody, other than just releasing like two Woodies, out of the fact, was for the fact that they wanted something special with this one. Other fact, they just had some random worries left over. So obviously being said, when you get him out of the box, he comes in trying mode. And for Christ's sakes, I need people to shut up. But was I? Oh yeah, this. Once you get him out of the box, he comes in trying mode, and this is what he says. Hey, howdy, hey. My name's Woody. A cowboy without his hat is like a, a yodel without a hey he -hoo. Oh, you found my hat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, ah, don't want to get copyrighted. Those were all of the sync and try me uh, sync and features, and honestly, I mean, I think it's good enough. But here comes the real spark. It's exactly the same from the no more in the collection. In here, there's. Let me just pull out all the gun. I don't want to try to get the monetized with that one, but there's a try me off and play. Try me is basically the one he came equipped with. Obviously, let you just shut him up altogether. And play is when he really starts to walk up. Hey, howdy, hey. So now he's in play mode, which I only tested like a few times, so the main gimmick is that since I think the reason why this hat is so flimsy to begin with is the fact that it has a gimmick. You put it on and here's what happens. Well, hey, howdy, hey, I got my hat back. He basically just has specific phrases for when he gets his hat back on and has those specific phrases when he has his hat off. Whoa, <laughs> I think the wind just took my hat. So, there. I don't think he has any pushing freezes, which I exactly associate with this. Come on, partner! Time to saddle up for adventure! Yeah, I really don't think there's any specific phrases for pushing with or oh, without the hat. Oh yeah, that's better. How do I look? It's like the whole entire collection potato gimmick, where they had, like, had two sets of eyes and two sets of mouths, which really didn't do anything, but assumed on what it might have done was actually have different phrases. Oh, that's from a fan type of perspective. Also, if you're wondering who's actually voicing Woody here, it's obviously Jim Hanks and ain't Tom Hanks for Christ's sake, so, there. Oh, you found my hat! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I honestly do think that some of these phrases are from, like, all the films, I think. I don't know. Just a thought. Obviously, when I said all of them, I meant, like, 1, 2, 3, not 4, because this toy came, like, before 2019, so there. Oh, no! My hat's gone! Well, I gotta find it! Okay, now that my hat's back, let's saddle up for adventure! I mean, I do got kind of other ways to actually compare it to. Just let's try that. And also, I think that the hat also applies to any other hat. Like, it can be very specifically this. So that's neat. Let me just try. Wait just a second. Something's missing. <sighs> my hat! So I got the Disney store from back in the day. So, let me try it. I think it applies to Pacific ones. Let me try. You can tell, aka the current Disney song hat. Uh, he looks weird. He looks like the older versions of Woody, <laughs> like the prototype brands. And I think it only applies to, like Ray Pacific hats here. Yeah. Well, thank you kindly. A cowboy ain't a cowboy without his cowboy hat. You don't think anyone will notice my hat's gone, do you? <laughs> of course they will. Yee-haw! Got my hat back. I think the only thing that actually changes 
I mean, you could do this like with any other cowboy hat from Woody. I mean, if they fit, because those junks, they didn't even work in the slightest. A cowboy without his hat is like and you can also do this very very too. Oh, you found way just... Well, hey, hey! Oh, yeah, that... Whoa! yee Oh, no! Okay, now that my hat's back, a cowboy without his hat... Well, thank you. It's like exactly a like the UK Mattel Woody. Sorry for that, where's of a jump cat? It's basically like the UK Mattel Woody, where you could just do this. I'm good. I just realized something. His voice. Hello. And his voice. Yeehaw! They sound different. One's high pitch and one's uh. I didn't even put batteries in them, so I really can't get past. So there. Honestly, for what it's worth, it's like a very good enough toy, but I don't know, man. It's just kind of lacking in features. Like obviously, it's thinking. I think by this point, they've done literally everything with this toy to begin with. I mean, look at all the awards that they released. They had them in sync in the posables when they first released. They had them in, like, a giant of a badge. They had them in, like, a talking stance version, I believe. I don't know. They had them in the Christmas variant, a U.S. variant. What the heck was that? <laughs> they had them with the hot them. A guitar. They had them in, like, some Indiana Jones want to be looking, like, an army variant. Uh, what else they also did with him? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, by this point, I think they finally decided, yeah, let's just go with one variant. I just realized something. During the release of Toy Story 3, they decided to release one more variant of Woody, which I don't even have. That's weird. And that was a lot to laugh, Woody. I just remembered. So basically, they used exactly the same mold. I mean, I guess exactly the same body. For like, four times. If you don't count the collection... I mean, if you get the collection, then that's like five in total. Bro, why? I get it. So they can basically just save cost effects so make them look semi different. But come on. I mean, the only thing different, other fact is like the vest, which is kind of dumb. Again, sometimes they're big and they don't look right. Sometimes they look small and actually how they're supposed to look. So I don't know. There's that. So he is compared with all the worries that I have. For, I think for the retailers, I guess, which was the, what do you got it in the U.S., the U.K., and in the Disney store. From back in the day, at least. Some of these might have changed. That one, I think he's gone. That one's completely been ruined. That one, eh, alright. It's kind of weird to see in which company literally does change everything. You got thinking Mattel over here, who did a decent enough job trying to intimidate it now. I think we absolutely smashed it out of the park, and then you just got Disney's so looking like a sore thumb. I don't know, it looks like the meme was thinking where it's got the dragons, and you just got the weirdo right here. I don't know why it looks like it to me. Honestly, if you guys wonder where's the thinking movie actor Woody, or the restoration Woody, I don't have him on the spot. If I do, I'm lazy. So, there. If you guys think they're real, like, share, comment, notifications on the mobile video, you think, then scroll down, see if I'm on the click on it. And see if I'm on the. If not, try to find this guy, honestly. Obviously, being. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now, from what I remember, obviously, this guy was released back in 2009 in stores, I believe. Family members always keep running through with me. I don't know why. Obviously, I'm going back to what I was saying, though. In 2009, they released him in, I think, at Target. I don't know if there was any Walmart, I believe. Obviously, sinking in dead hands. So, there. And they did rebrand them a few times from like the color logo to the white logo to the yellow logo era. And they had them for I think a bit until like Tales and then 18 when they stopped doing it. Instead had like the dumb printed on vest, the printed on badge, the printed on buttons. And the really printed on uh, uh, pants. That's when they really went cheap. Ever since then you can only find this gun like on eBay or Macari. Well I think like 30 bucks. Yeah I'm bad for him. I think it was exactly like that same price from back in the day. Obviously with him, uh, yeah, obviously on eBay, just hope the guy comes by early. And him? I don't know. See you guys in the next video. Might have been in the matchup. Yeah, I'm starting to get, people starting to probably get really tired of me doing a matchup. But hey, it's fun, okay? At least I'm doing something out of the fact I'm just doing my same old content, alright? Anyways though, 